This is the Conservatives are. March 9th, 2017. A couple short comments about this uh, Republican Obamacare 2. And that's what it is. It, it really is, um, it's, it's just tweaking Obamacare, a shell game, mandates are going to, insurance premium increases of 30%, subsidies are not refundable tax credits. You don't even have to have a tax bill to get the, 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 the so-called tax credits. They're not tax credits. It's a shell game. And that's all it is. And I want to make a couple, two points. One is the hypocrisy of the Republicans. It knows no bounds. And uh, for them to say that this is what they had been promising the voters for eight years or four years or how long it is, is ridiculous. The voters never expected the shell game. They never expected to have Obamacare light or Obamacare two. I really think it's two. I used to think I would call it Obama Ryan care, but I really, I, I don't think it is that. I think this is Obamacare two, and it, that that's it's still Obama. Everything is about this is Obamacare. I don't mind the realization that we cannot uh, fix it. I I understand that. I've felt that for a long time. And as soon as Trump and the Republicans threw in pre-existing conditions and 26-year-olds living at home, you, you knew this thing couldn't piece together in, in any meaningful manner. I do not mind just throwing up our hands and saying, hey, this is the best we can do. Uh, this is the best we can do. So, the, uh, But the hypocrisy of it is to call it conservative, to call it a big change, these are lies, out and out lies. Again, I don't mind throwing up our hands and say, hey, uh, let's do the best we can. My, the unfortunate part about this is it shows the weakness of Paul Ryan. When we get into tax reform, he's going to be just as weak. And, and the willingness of Donald Trump to quickly compromise on this shows also his weakness. But the hypocrisy of it, it just kills me. The second thing I want to point out here and about the bill itself is, you know, all through the campaign, Republicans have been talking about this for years. We're going to have this free exchange between the states and insurance companies. And, and we're going to have tort reform. This, I want to, there's more to it than that, but just those two things. Neither are included in the budget. Paul Ryan says, don't worry about it. We'll have another bill that will put these in it, the third leg of his uh, health care uh, reform. There'll be another bill where we'll fix all this, except for one thing. That other bill requires 60 votes in the Senate, as things stand today. And it, it will never pass. So all, any semblance of tax, of, of reducing premiums, is never going to get passed. I make a, a prediction that uh, this has does almost nothing to premiums. I think premiums will go up from here under this plan, and they'll go up significantly. It, it's it, it, you know, there's, there's just a set of lies, and I don't mind them saying, we can't fix it, but we this is the best we can do. I don't mind that. And I might even, if I was a congressman, vote for it on that premise. But the way it is being presented to me now, with lies and disinformation, I wouldn't vote for it. This is the conservative czar. See you next time.